Hey, what's going on, everybody? Welcome back to the channel here at Crypto Nation. Happy Sunday. Hey, I just want to say, hey, thanks to all my recently new subscribers. Uh, anybody who subscribed here, I just want to say thanks once again. Hey, and if you're new here, please don't forget to um, subscribe and hit the like button for post notifications. Uh, yeah, and also, hey, if you'd like to support the channel, PayPal and Cash App is always in the description. Or um, you can also get the channel membership, $3 a month. It's at the, uh, when you get the channel membership, Apparently, you can't really do it on mobile. You have to use an actual desktop computer. And it's at the bottom, the bottom um, left-hand side, where you see the Join tab. You hit that, and that will lead you to the payment page. The payment page to get the channel membership. Uh, all right, and when you know, get the channel membership, you can see what I'm doing. I show you my portfolio, and I share, you know, low-cap gems with you guys, and we just, you know, share ideas. And you definitely get a chance to see my updated portfolio. Matter of fact, if I get a chance tonight, um, if I'm not too tired, I'll post another, I'll post a new video tonight for the channel members. So I try to get at least about two to three, you know, videos out to the channel members. Uh, you know, as I get more people becoming the channel member, then I can start, you know, put more, you know, content out, but I'm gonna try to get, uh, get, if I don't do it tonight, I'll, I'm gonna get a new one out tomorrow for sure for the channel members, but definitely check out that, get the channel membership. My last video was good. I did about, I think it was about 16, 17 minute video, uh, with that update. Anyways, let's get right onto it. Uh, so Bitcoin is at 63,877, Ethereum is at 3,100. So, you know, these are the, I always like to cover the two big, the big dogs, you know, in the start of my uh, video. Uh, so Bitcoin, it, it, it went up, we went up to 64,000 and then it retraced again under. So, you know, this market is unpredictable. We gotta, you know, just stay focused to see what's going on. But we know that there's rumors that Bitcoin is getting ready to possibly explode. So here's our article right here. Uh, Jack Dorsey says it will buy Bitcoin every month within 10% of its gross profit. Okay. Check out this little article right here. They're saying, okay, Bitcoin price prediction. Okay. Author Hay says BTC has bottomed Mr. 100 buys for the first time since having and 99 BTC reaches for 1 million. I'm not sure if I read this already or not. Okay, it says Bitcoin price set to surge over one bullish pendant pattern. Bitcoin price prediction. All right, 99 Bitcoins raises over 99K. Best crypto to buy now. Related news. Okay, see if I really want to read this. If I have time to read this article. Uh, Let me see here. Yeah, I'm not going to have time to read the article, but I'll just say that with their, let me see here. Okay, you know, I'll just read the first paragraph. I'm not going to read the whole article, but uh, they're saying they're giving a price. They're saying that Bitcoin hit the bottom, I guess, when when we when we went down to 57K last week. I guess that was Bitcoin's new bottom, but we'll see. Um, says the Bitcoin price has been on a steady rise since October last year, hitting new yearly highs which saw uh, surpass the previous all-time high, 69,000 to a new all-time high of 73,000. However, this level um, has uh, remained a challenge for the bulls. Uh, the price has been fluctuating within a range, forming a bullish uh, permanent uh, with the recent dip. Uh, BTC surpasses the lower boundary of the, of the uh, pendant, of the pendant, uh, breaching the 60,000 critical support to a new, excuse me, support to as low as 56,800. Okay, so I guess it went down to 56,800. That's what they're saying here. Uh, this level has acted as a local support set to encourage the bulls to push the price higher. Uh, BTC trades above a 200-day simple moving average SMA uh, confirmation of the bullish potential to the upside. A, a sustained bullish stance uh, could allow BTC to overcome the 50-day SMA hurdle at 66,000. Uh, moreover, the relative strength index RSI is rebounding from the 30 oversold level, currently at 36. Okay, a signal that buyers are now buying. If the buying action continues, the RSI could surge to the 50 midline level as it heads to the 70 overbought region. Um, an, an indication of intense buying pressure. Uh, Bitcoin price prediction. Okay. 
All right. Uh, the Bitcoin price analyst indicates the BTC is set for an upward price movement above the bullish pennant as the bulls target a new all time high at 85. Oh, wow. OK, they're saying that we can get a new all time high at, at, at 85,000. OK, wow, well, that'd be nice if we can. Bitcoin serves the 85,000, bro. We're all coins, man. We're, we're going to be in everybody who's in alts. We're going to definitely be in some life changing money already. If Bitcoin surges to 85,000, we're going to already be in life changing money. Uh, I can see this coming possible, possibly within the next like the next. I, like I said, guys, I, this goes back to what I was talking about. I believe by the end of this month, by the end of May, going into early June, we're going to see a surge of this summer. We're going to start seeing a, a price surge of Bitcoin around like like I keep saying by mid to late May into June. All the way up until possibly like this this whole summer going into like possibly September, October. I keep saying this summer is going to be big in crypto, guys. Get ready, man. The market is going to is going to explode get, this summer, man. Get ready. All right. I keep saying that. Now, even even there, even what I kind of predicted, they're also saying it right here. You know, uh, indicates that BTC is set for an upward price movement above the bullish permanent as the bulls target a new all-time high at 85,000 uh, with the RSI already crossing the 30 oversold region. Okay, BTC bulls uh, could prompt a buyback campaign, uh, which uh, which could advertently push the price higher above the 73,000 resistance. Okay, uh, conversely, in the instance, the bears take control of the price at this level. Bitcoin could retrace back to the support zone at 49,000, okay, which coincides with the 200-day SMA. Meanwhile, meanwhile, with the BTC price similarly headed in a northern direction, uh, investors uh, are also diversifying their portfolios via the 99 BTC presale, which has raced to within a whisker of 1 million raised. Okay, so I, you know, I'm just, I'm just gonna go with that. So, yeah, guys, that just wanted to go over that about what they're saying about BTC. So it's definitely there's definitely rumors of Bitcoin uh, skyrocketing here within the next couple of weeks to a month. Kind of like what I predicted, you know, but hey, I'm not an expert. I could be wrong, you know. But anyway, that's my take on, on, on the Bitcoin. Now, next up, wanted to do an update here on Spell Token. You know, see where we're at. Uh, we're down 0.3 for the day, uh, 0.4 for the hour. And we're down. We're only down 3.5 percent for the week, and down 17 percent for the month. For the year, we're we're just up 33 percent for the year. So it's been trading pretty sideways. Uh, one thing I'll say about Spell Token, this is definitely this is definitely in, in the accumulation zone still. I keep saying it. Anything below 10 percent of a penny is a buy zone. Anything below 10 percent of a penny, even even once it finally gets back up to 10 percent of a penny, it's still going to be in a buy zone. But it's this is definitely a still a um. When you look at spell token, this is definitely still a fire sale. Um, I think it was about a month and a half to two months ago it reached. It got up to like 16, 17 percent of a penny. And then it came back down. You know, you know, since then we got a few, we got a few, you know, flash crashes or what or whatnot. You know, it came back down. Uh, but yeah, um, especially our last two major flash crashes, it went from 12 percent of a penny, it actually all the way down to like under seven percent of a penny. But you know, it's been going between eight, nine percent of a penny for the last. I'll say for the last couple of weeks now, but it's been, you know, you look at that chart, you look at the one month is down 17%. So um, you can see here where it was at 12% of a penny, you know, about a month ago, you know, then we came all the way down to like uh, 30779. So the spell token is definitely in a buy zone. I've been loading up as much as possible. I'm already at about 2.5 million, but this is not the only position that I'm in. I'm also in, um, in uh, what's that? Sparrick, Spa Coin, and um, and Swift. So yeah, and uh, with with Spell Token being my my second biggest bag after Swift, and my third biggest bag is Spa is Sparrick uh, Coin. So yeah, my portfolio is looking pretty. And actually, my portfolio kind of jumped up yesterday after the you know we, after we kind of pumped yesterday with Bitcoin, but then my you know kind of retraced now. But yeah, as you know, the market starts to go up. It's only going to be a matter of time before Spell Token you know starts to wake up. But I'll say looking at spell token right as of right now, this is definitely an, an accumulation zone still. Uh, matter of fact, I'm still I'm going to pick up more when I get a chance of my already, you know, 2.5 million tokens. You know, some people may ask, well, 
uh well hey hey crypto nation what how many spell tokens should i own if i want to get make some life-changing gains i just want to say uh you know i'm not a financial advisor i can't give financial advice but doing basic math you know we are expecting a lot of us is hoping we hit at least five cents you know spell, spell token can at least hit five cents in this 2024 20, 25 bull run but i'll just say not like i said not financial advice i highly say at least try to pick up a million at least one million spell token just to make you know some type of games because you know with a million spell tokens if you at least have a million right um and it hits five cents that's fifty thousand dollars you know you know i'm not sure if you want to count that as life changing money but hey that's be 50 grand you didn't have that's still nice money you could use that you'll be able to use that to um to get into another project that's at a, that's at a bottom or low or a new project where new money's flowing in there's a lot you could do with 50 grand for me that's a lot of money fifty thousand dollars that's a lot a lot of money to me i can do a lot you know i can do more investments do some other investments or whatever uh put that in into some real estate there's a lot you can do with 50 grand um you know uh if you if you invest this like smartly a lot you can do with it you know despite if you're calling it you know life changing money or not you know um you know okay i wish i had 50 grand right now i i wish i had that kind of money right now you know what i mean my portfolio will be looking really nice my crypto portfolio will be will be like a tier if if i had that kind of money but anyways you know that's my take on that uh so i do how did you recommend if you're in spell hey just try to i'll just say you know try to get by much as possible try to get much as possible that's all i gotta say because we because a lot of this price predictions and speculation at the end of the day, we don't know where these prices are going to go and by the end of 2024, 2025. You know, we just have to stay locked and loaded pretty much. You know, we definitely just got to, you know, stay locked and loaded. Uh, but as of right now, Spell Token is at a uh, coin market cap is showing 93 million market cap. We know this is a low market cap. The tokenomics, I think it's over 200 billion in the max supply. Uh, coin Gecko shows a different price. Let me see here. Let's check Coin Gecko. I think they're more accurate with their. Okay, Coin Gecko shows. Uh, to, okay, two hundred and ten is in a max. Two hundred and ten billion is in a max supply, and um, no, excuse me, that's at two hundred and ten. I'm mean, excuse me, two hundred and ten million is in a max supply, and the total supply is one ninety six, and the circulating supply is one forty two. That's what Coin Coin Gecko is showing. So I'm quite sure they're going to be decreasing the supply over time. Or they're gonna maybe they're gonna use some type of way to burn some of their tokens off, but but yeah, definitely I believe that this can you know hit about you know just like in my previous videos I say about you know five to ten cents. I'm giving it five to ten cents because from when you look at from where it's priced at now at point at three zeros eight seven one one five to ten cents that's already about a you're you're looking at about what that's about a forty to fifty x already yeah that's about a 50x to get the five to ten cents right from where it is now but yeah that's about a 40 to 50x i'll say or are close to that so yeah this is definitely i still believe that this is definitely still a, a easy 50x in the bull run it could go higher but you know we like to be conservative here to hear crypto nation to say you know say a, you know call it a 50x gym but you know it, this is definitely the best time to load up on spell the, the fact that it's still been trading sideways you know and it's it's a little bit in the red but that's my take on it uh but yeah don't forget to subscribe hit the like button uh for post notifications and uh yeah uh check out the community comments see what they're saying on there and i'm gonna i'm gonna um wrap this video up let me see here spell usdt update is currently showing a uptrend trading above 200 EMA. Alrighty, take care. Just want to see what their uh, what their plans are. A lot of people's bullish on this play. We know that it's a low market cap and it's a DeFi project. We know a lot of the low cap DeFi's are going to do good. You know, Spell is definitely going to have his day. This coin is definitely going to have his day. He hasn't. When you look at the pat that one year chart over the last year, it hasn't really had a major pump over the last year. You know. Except when it was at at about, you know, six percent of a penny. And then it came all the way up to like what 16, 17 percent of a penny, but then it came back down. But yeah, but this is definitely the load up phase for uh for a uh, spell.
And I believe that and I believe there's gonna be some life changing gains. He said I'm bullish on holding spells, six point seven mil. Nice, that's a nice bag. Six point seven million tokens, that's six hundred that's six million seven hundred thousand. So he's like three hundred thousand away from getting seven million. That's a nice bag of spell right there. That is definitely a nice bag. <laughs> Alrighty. Said I'm bullish on spell. Like I said, the low cap, the fact that it's under a Okay, what did Coin Gecko show the market cap? They always gonna get okay. Coin Gecko shows 123 million market cap. Coin market cap shows 93. Okay, we'll go with that's still a low market cap, 123 million. Either way you slice it, that's a that's still a pretty low market cap, you know. Uh, but yeah, um, checking out the community comments here. Uh, yeah, spell I believe in a new all time high. Yeah. So anyways, that's my take on spell. Thanks everybody for tuning in. Don't forget to uh, subscribe, hit the like button, support the channel. Um, Cash out PayPal will be in the description or get the channel membership. Hey, thanks everybody for tuning in. That is my uptake on Bitcoin, um, you know, where Bitcoin is heading and also with spell token. I uh, hope this video was useful. None of this is financial advice. Do do your own due deed, due diligence. It's always good to do your own research with crypto. Don't take, you know, everything what I say with a grain of salt. Because at the end of the day, as crypto YouTubers, you know, we're entertainers and you got to take it as such, you know, but always do your own research on crypto. Uh, but yeah, but anyways, hey, I will see you guys um, in the next one. Hope everybody enjoy uh, the rest of your Sunday. Peace.